Hey guys, so today is going to be an outfit of the day, and I have not filmed an outfit of the day in a very long time. I feel like it's been at least since I was pregnant, and like a typical regular outfit of the day, even before that, and Maddie just turned two. So I thought it was about time to just get it out of the way, film an outfit of the day. I know you guys really, really enjoy seeing plus size outfit of the day is because it gives you inspiration for things that you could wear for yourself and you know just to be honest I have been doing weight loss Wednesday since the beginning of the year and I just am now starting to and really I'm not even that comfortable in my body anymore um, after you get pregnant and you have a baby things change and everything kinda goes downhill um, it's just the sad truth of it all. You get a miracle and I would never trade that for anything in the world, a saggy skin and all, uh, but it's the unfortunate truth. You have a baby and everything kind of gets misproportioned. So I really truly have not been 100% happy with my body, especially before I started to lose weight, but even now that I've lost weight, I just... I've never, I haven't, since I've had Maddie, I really have not felt that comfortable in a lot of things that I wear because my body's a little bit, it's shaped a little bit different. So I think that's a big reason why I never came on to film Outfit of the Days, but it's time to bite the bullet, get past it. I need to get out of this funk that I'm in as far as losing weight. If you watch my vlog channel, you saw my Weight Loss Wednesday. I'm, you know, not really doing that great, and so I need to get myself out of there and I think seeing myself on camera and kind of looking at myself full picture um, will give me more an I of an idea of what I actually look like and kind of get past that. So I'm going to start with makeup. I actually am wearing a pretty full face of makeup today. I feel like I was going to film like a whole get ready with me video but I just honestly felt like it would have taken too long. So for foundation I am wearing Makeup Forever's matte velvet plus I'm in the shade 30 and for blush I am wearing I had to look it up Bobbi Brown's desert rose with a little bit of Milani's Bella Rose um, just like on the apples of my cheek highlight I'm wearing champagne pop from Becca for eyes I'm wearing the Lorac um, pro mega pro 2 palette which I actually will be having in my favorites I think you're gonna you're gonna see my favorites before that but the um, Mega Pro 2 palette and I am wearing just like kind of a combination of a bunch of different shades like um, you can see here I have this on my outer corner I have olivine all over the lid with a little bit of these browns kind of uh, mixed out in the crease and then for lips I'm wearing Revlon's um, lip butter and pink truffle which I have been loving this as well it's like the only lip color that I've been wearing for the most part um, what else? I think that's about it. I really, really like the way the makeup look came out today. I feel like even though it took me forever, it was worth it. it was, it's really pretty. I love it. And then as far as hair, I just have it straightened. Can you guys believe how long it's getting already? It's like really long. I feel like I just chopped it off not that long ago. But anyway, that's just straight. Nothing. It's actually third day hair because I washed it on day one, slept with it curly, and then day two I straightened it, and then today is day three, and it's I just threw some dry shampoo up in the roots and um, kind of went about my business. For jewelry, I'm just wearing these gold hoops that are way too big, <laughs> but I love them. They're actually from Payless, like $5. My uh, Michael Kors gold watch, it actually does not even work. The battery is needs to be checked. Um, I don't know what number this is. The MK8077 is just a large gold face watch. I don't really wear these huge watches anymore, but I figured why not? So I have that on. I have this ring. I think this was from Jewel Mint a long time ago. I could be wrong, but I don't even know that Jewel Mint is still in existence. Um, and then I have this little pendant that is just like a clear magnifying glass that's gold. I love this. It is from Forever 21, I believe. And then my wedding set. I have no nail polish on right now. I actually just took it off. I'm going to paint my nails. I think Metro Chic by Sephora by OPI. Um, we'll see. I don't know. I just painted my toes like a cranberry color. So I'm thinking just going straight out fall for everything. And then for my outfit, very, very basic. I have this cardigan that I got from... Target, I believe, several, several years ago. I think it's from the Morona brand. And it's just a very long 
like cover your butt type of cardigan and it's very th um, yeah thin and kind of see-through so it doesn't really provide much warmth I would say um, but I love it to kind of cover up any Thing that I'm wearing because I am wearing this sleeveless shirt and although it is perfectly fine here in San Antonio for sleeveless weather I just wanted to be a little bit more I don't know conservative today I guess um, and then this sleeveless shirt actually did come with a necklace that was attached to it I just detached it I got this back from um, back a while ago from Burlington Coat Factory I bought it actually about a year ago because I bought it for um, when I first started working at the hospital during orientation and stuff where you have to dress up. So I bought this one and a white one and they both have that necklace attached to it. But actually the white one I wore not that long ago in a video with like a gray cover up to go over it and you could see the necklace attached there. But this one's like a mauvey purple color-ish, I don't know, like a pinky purple. And it's that like real slinky loose material. And last year I was about 35 pounds heavier than I am now. so. It has kind of turned into a little bit longer, um, a little bit more loose shirt than it was last year, but I still make it work. And then underneath I just have a black camisole from Target, and then for my bottoms I uh, have my Forever 21 leggings that I typically wear. This angle is kind of weird so I don't know how it's showing up for you guys. Oh, and that's a haul video coming up. Stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, just my Forever 21 leggings. You can see the... Uh, toenail polish that I painted it's actually OPI's Miami Beat so came out really pretty super fall I love it and then for shoes I'm going to be wearing my Tory Burch flats and I forget what these are called actually they have a name but they're the ones that are like super stretchy um, and have the elastic around the side and the gold detailing here. I would put them on to show you, but my toes are so wet and that's not going to happen. Alright, so that was my quick outfit of the day. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I know that you crave these outfit of the days and I try really hard to build up the confidence and motivation to film them. I just really have not been super comfortable in everything that I wear, um, especially for summertime. I feel like it's a little bit more revealing and you know, certain spots, especially like my belly area, I, <clears throat> excuse me, just don't feel like it's tight enough to where I have a pooch and it bothers me. So <laughs> I'm working on it day by day, um, whether it be through nutrition or exercise. I'm trying very, very hard um, to kind of get rid of it. <laughs> so anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this outfit of the day, plus size outfit of the day. Woo -woo. And let me know if you want like a get ready with me over this uh, eye look. I could see myself definitely wearing it more often because I really, really like the way that it came out. Or if you want any tutorials or eye looks with the Lorac Mega Pro 2 palette, I'd be happy to show you guys. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!